What's happening guys? So this is gonna be the first of many videos of a series of videos of updating this bay right here. It's one out of six car wash bays that's gonna be an automatic. Uh, the other five are gonna stay as self-serves, but it's quite the process to convert one of these bays over. And so I wanted to do a series of videos on what it looks like, what it takes, all the different steps of the process. And then I'm gonna go through installing vinyl wall panels and lighting packages and uh, painting the building. Just doing all the updates to make this site look all fresh and everything. So follow along for this full automatic car wash update. Now on to uh, getting you caught up to speed on how I got this machine, where I got it from, uh, what I spent on that so far, and then we're gonna keep a tally of how much I spend to be able to do this full conversion. Uh, so this unit right here is a 2022 unit. Uh, it only has a little over 2,000 washes on it, which if you do the math, like that may only be like three months of use. Uh, so it's super fresh. Uh, the guys here installing it are telling me that they're like really impressed by how good of a condition it's in. Basically, basically as if it came from the factory with a little bit of dust on it. And so I'm excited about that, about having a basically brand new machine, but I'm also more excited about the price I got for it because it came out of a uh, building in the Midwest. Uh, this guy bought this building from a bank foreclosure or like an auction, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but he had this unit in there and he sold me the unit for a really good deal of $42,000. Brand new to that machine's well over 150, maybe over 200. Uh, so I got that at a fraction of the cost and then I paid six thousand dollars to have it um, removed from that building palleted and crated and ready for shipment and then the red truck and trailer that you saw earlier today i paid that guy to drive it from oklahoma here to utah for two thousand four hundred dollars so i think if my math's right that's putting us at um like four uh fifty thousand a little over fifty thousand four hundred is what i've spent so far on this and uh we got a lot more expenses to come, but uh, I feel like we're trending in a pretty good, pretty good direction. So my goal is to stay under 200K for the whole thing. We'll see if we can do that in the upcoming videos, but let's see what's happening uh, and what the process is gonna be like to get this thing going. Of course, we can't forget the brain of the whole operation here. Look how massive this motor is right there. And then it's got a big old pump that it runs. 35, uh, I'm trying to get it in there. Model 35, 35 cat pump. And then this manifold with all these different injections. You can see it's detergent one, two, super sealant, wheel cleaner, low pressure stuff. Pretty cool. And then the cabinet of electrical you can see the guy who removed it to cut some wires here but I trust that these guys installing it have done enough of these they know what they're doing so and then another thing so this guy right here is our cap for our tank up there and uh, this stores water to be quite honest I don't know if it stores spot free water or high pressure water or what but um and then the reason that there's some insulation on this cylinder right here this is a pump and a heater in one something unique about this machine or upgraded on this machine is it has an onboard heater for its pre-soak and then i believe that's the spot free pump so all packaged in one nice unit which is gonna go right where the footprint of this boiler system is gonna go, or it currently is. And the new water heaters are gonna go up on the wall up there. So I'm gonna continue my plumbing right here on my water softener system that I recently redid. And I'm gonna bring it up instead and across and then down and feed everything. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go up when you can't go out anymore with development and growth, you gotta go up. 
And then the mystery box crate. We've got our uh, light bar, which is basically just like for the customer instructing them or showing them what's what functions currently on. And then we got a directional signage, which are these arrows, green and red axes and stuff to instruct the customers on how to uh, park in the bay. And then this, these arms right here attached to the arch that goes over the top. And then undercarriage wash, the turbo nozzles, and all these posts that are back in here inside this bay were also in this mystery box crate. So along with our big long rails right there, these rails that are right here are like 28 feet long. So our bay is actually not quite long enough. I'm finding out now that I'm gonna have to find a way to build something onto the front or back or both sides of the bay to extend it. Probably what we're gonna end up doing is building this wall out even with that one. If we do that on both sides, we'll have 30 feet. And then I'll probably have to put like a second roof awning off the back here to slope the water away. But we're going up. We've got an arch already set up and they're locating all of the different lines in the floor. Most of that is radiant floor heat. This bridge on this auto car wash is pretty dang heavy because it's got four of these motors and fans mounted on it, which is kind of cool, but I like this part. This motor will spin and it'll make these two motors in the center just kind of wave back and forth. Pretty clean looking used machine. Good as new to me. Now check this out. Less than 24 hours since this machine's hit the ground here in Utah at my car wash. And we already got it up in the air. Uh, the guys worked hard to get this thing set up and out of here because we don't have a place to like securely store it. And I was worried about these stainless steel hoses running off uh, to the scrapyard or something. And so, super cool. We already got it up in uh, up here. Still a long ways to go. This by far isn't going to be the finished product. The bays at both ends are going to have uh, airlift doors. Uh, and so that means we've got to frame in, frame them in to fit. Uh, the wall paneling that I talked about earlier, lighting, um, camera systems, all sorts of stuff. So uh, I want to show you the bridge from underneath now. Okay, so the arm still goes right there. Uh, you know, a horizontal and a vertical arm both ways. And I don't know everything about this machine yet, but um, I'll tell you what I do know. So we got our nozzles across here. I imagine uh, these are low pressure nozzles and I think high pressure nozzles are what's on the arm. Uh, and that goes all the way across. They're kind of like a special nozzle with like a, like a flare out on it for the pattern. Um, and then come around here and it's got these RGB light lights right here which is super cool so that will like put on different light shows and stuff for them and then uh, back in here so this is the triple foam you can actually still see like remnants of the color so you know blue red and yellow um, triple foam will spray out of those for the higher tier packages and then there's those blowers from underneath uh, and then it's got the big old laser wash decal in the front what do you guys think should I strip off the laser wash decal and do like a vinyl wrap across that and maybe like brand it or do something cool let me know what you think 
Uh, but yeah, kind of a cool system. And then it just runs on these tracks and this hose, uh, you know, system. I don't know what you call this snake thing. Uh, that just lays out on that track right there and it'll drive back and forth. So anyway, super cool project. I'm looking forward to recording and documenting the whole thing. Uh, if there's specific things that uh, I need to be talking about or that you're curious about watching these videos, let me know because uh, we're just recording as we go. Um, I'll be sharing all the you know costs of this project and uh, hopefully it extends into operation and we start to share the income that a machine like this can generate as well. Uh, so let me know guys. Uh, I'll be back with another video. See you soon. Peace.